So I wanted to talk about Ebron Dragon Shard turn-ins. This is something I like to occasionally talk about on the live stream. It's just one of those things that like every time I mention it, you know, there's always at least one or two viewers that didn't know that, you know, these turn-ins were available. And so, you know, if you didn't know about some of these things, you'll realize like why Eberron Dragon Shards are so valuable. These things can be sold for shards. Uh, they do have a very high value, and I want you to know what you can get for your small, medium, and large Eberron Dragon Shards. So this is not about purified Eberron Dragon Shards, which are used in Kena Crafting. Uh, these are the things that you can get out of collectible nodes. And sometimes even like treasure bags. So they're pretty rare. According to the wiki, this they have about a 1% chance of being randomly found in any collectible node. You can trade these for purified Eberron Dragon Shard fragments at, at the crafts trader in the crafting hall. You can get one purified for a small, two purified for a medium, or three purified for a large. I would not recommend that you do that. In fact, I would very, very much recommend against trading your small, medium, and larges for purifieds. Purifieds can be gotten in other ways. Um, they're much more valuable keep, keeping them like this. You know, you can get purified by crunching unwanted ability and skill tomes. You can get them with shards. Um, I think you can get them with tokens too. So, All right, so there are very specific and not too many collectibles traders that are very happy to take your small, medium, and large Eberron Dragon Shard fragments. And so for the smalls, you can go to Zovin Chalk in the marketplace, and he's going to give you a medium experience elixir. That's a 10% XP pot the last six hours. That right there is why small Eberron Dragon Shards are so valuable. You can get an XP pot for them. It's just a 10% pot, but hey, you know, if you're not running any other pot, 10% pot's nice. And so, you know, in this video, I really want to steer you towards the more valuable turn-ins and away from ones that, you know, if you're a little bit newer, you, you know, might sound appealing, but really aren't that great. But the medium XP elixir, that's your best bet for your small Ebron Dragon Shard turn-in. You can also go to Pita Flash Pin in the market and get a rest of the Eladrin statuette. And that's the like the personal pan pizzas of uh, rest shrines. That's just a personal use. That's not a rest shrine for everybody to use. That's just you click it and you go through the resting animation and you get a rest. And that's that thing right there. Works for you only. So that's not bad to have some of those. I like to keep a few of those on hand. You never know when a quest is running long and, you know, you things are getting out of hand. You're running out of resources. You could really use a rest. It's a ways to the shrine, you know. I don't use them a lot, but it's definitely nice to have a few in your inventory for urgent situations. You can also go to Rudolph Reitman in the marketplace and get a small shard trinket that has 20 times cure series wounds. Do not get that. That is a total waste of your small Eberron Dragon shards. You can just go get potions of cure series wounds from the potion shop in House K or something. You know, do not spend your small Eberron Dragon shards on that. Okay, your mediums, which are going to be your highest value dragon shards. Uh, you can go to Clear East Rodin, get a shard trinket of greater restoration, 20 charges. Don't get that. It is not worth it. There's a total waste, uh, in my opinion, of your medium Eberron Dragon Shards. You can go to Lord Jotun, get a Shard Trinket of Mass Hold Person. Again, don't even, you know, that, that's not going to hit well. And, you know, it's, it's just a waste. Uh, Kipling Ranch, Shard Trinket of Mass Protection from Elements. It sounds kind of cool. Definitely not worth spending three medium Eberron Dragons for, Shards for, but, you know, if you're a newer player, that might sound like it's pretty neat, but it's just totally, totally not worth it. David Turner can give you a Shard Trinket of Mnemonic Enhancement. This one is actually a really good one. This is, a, like, a trinket that acts as a clicky and has 20 charges of major Mnemonic Enhancement, which is basically, a, it's a major mana pot, 20 of them. It's equivalent to 20 major mana pots, so... You know, if you are a caster struggling with uh, your 
your blue bar and you know you don't have any potions and you know this could be a nice backup to have i'm not saying spend all your medium ever on dragon shards on this thing but it can be nice to keep one in your inventory to you know if you don't have a bunch of pots already as a backup when you need this can be something nice to have there it is exclusive so you can only have one in your inventory Uh, you could talk to Yannick Drumdoom, also in the marketplace. Uh, Shard Trinket of Summon Monster 7. Totally not worth it. Yep, Mana Pot's still dropping the game. In fact, I think I picked up one yesterday. Uh, the next set for medium Eberron Dragon Shard turn-ins are in House D. You can go to Churjin Lejamal. Gives you a medium shard trinket of mass cure critical wounds. Totally not worth it. Sounds cool. If you're new, totally not worth it. Don't. Your, your medium Eberron dragon shards are worth so much more than that. Tara White Raven. This is this right here is why medium Eberron dragon shards are so valuable in this game. Tara White Raven and House D will give you a major experience elixir. 20% XP pot that lasts for 6 hours. That's huge. You can get 20% XP pots right in game with your medium Eberron Dragon Shard Fragments. That right there is your best investment for your mediums. I think your second best is your Shard Trinket of Mnemonic Enhancement. I don't think anything else on the list of mediums is worth a salt. And then Flinchman Fireson can give you a Shard Trinket of Sunburst. Not worth it. All right, moving on to large Eberron Dragon Shard Fragment turn-ins. There's just three of them. You can talk to Seld the Grey Sister. This is House Fjarlin. She could be an Ethereal Rush Shrine. This is by far and above the only recommendation I would have for largest. The only thing worth the salt. Uh, this is a Rush Shrine for everyone. So unlike the one that you get for the smalls, which is just the personal pan pizza of rest shrines, the, the ethereal rest shrine statuette actually puts a shrine down in a quest. And not it doesn't work in a raid, but any, basically anywhere in a quest, you can hit that, it puts a shrine down, everybody can use it. And so, you know, this isn't something that I use often, but again, this is great for one of those emergency situations where the where the quest is running long, everybody's running out of resources, and you know you just everybody sort of needs a recharge, and it's a ways to the shrine or something like that, you know, or everybody's used the other shrines. So I would definitely recommend you know keeping one or two of these in your inventory for those emergency kinds of situations. Definitely a nice investment with your large Eberron dragon shards, and the only thing in my opinion that I would recommend. But there are two others. One gives you a medium jewel of fortune. Jewels of fortune are, are not a thing in the game anymore. So I'm honestly not sure if that gives you a crumbling jewel of fortune or if they give you the, you know, what jewels of fortune were replaced with, which was the treasure hunter's elixir. But if Baudwin does give you a crumbling jewel of fortune, you can trade that in at the crafts trader in the, in the crafting hall for, um, treasure hunter elixir so if you didn't know you know all your old crumbling jewels of fortune can be traded in for treasure hunter elixirs and I, I have a video that shows that i will put a link in this video description as well if you're interested and then the last turn in for large Eberron dragon shards is kayla sky whisper again in house p it gives you uh, just a gem there's no special use for it it's just something you can sell for a little plat totally not worth it so the recommendations from me are you know, ethereal rest shrines for your larges, 20% XP pots for your mediums, you know, maybe get a shard trinket of pneumonic enhancement as well if you're a spellcaster that struggles with your blue bar, and then for the smalls, your 20, your 10% XP pots. That, that's the good stuff, and that's why Eberron Dragon Shards have such high value in DDO. Hell yeah.